Hi guys, welcome to Rapture's house. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos that's dealing with a water sign. That's a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. So this is going to be for my Virgos that's dealing with a water sign. That's a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. Let's see what's going on between you guys and this water sign. Show me spirit. Show me what's going on. It says contemplation. Three is a crowd. I've been thinking a lot about us. Tell me, do you think of me too? So you got this water sign all in their head. This person's thinking about you. It says, I thought two was better than one, but now I'm torn. Some of you guys, this person could have put you in something third party. Some of you guys, this person could have definitely put you in something third party. Show me. Not finished. There's still unfinished business. It's not over until I say it's over. So some of you guys, this person don't want to leave you alone. Some of you guys, this person don't want to leave you alone. This person wants to keep you intertwined in their BS. Yeah, show me. Holding on. It hurts to let go, but sometimes it hurts more to hold on. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you're trying to let go of this person or you've let go of this person because it's, it's hard and it hurts to hold on to this person. This person's still holding on to you. This person's still holding on to you, but they're, they're feeling the pain. They're feeling the burn of it. Show me. Because I feel like you guys don't want to, a lot of you guys don't want to deal with this person anymore. It says control. I want to feel in control than to lose myself in love. Some of you guys, you've already, you've lost control in this situation with this person. And it's like you're trying to gain back some type of control it's like right now present moment you're trying to gain back some type of control show me this contemplation for my virgos dealing with this water sign longing longing i've been thinking a lot about us tell me do you think of me this person wants to know if you're thinking of you of them because this person's missing you and longing for you i'm longing for the other half i have lost I'm longing for the other half that I've lost. Yeah. Show me threes a crowd. Whoa, wow. Miracles. I know you lost hope in us, but I'm going to surprise you. I feel like this person is actually going to make a decision about you and some, between you and somebody else. With that threes a crowd, I feel like this person is going to be trying to make a decision between you and someone else here. Right now, present moment, this person seems a little torn. I thought two was better than one, but now I'm torn. Some of you guys, this person could have chose somebody else over you, and now they want to change their mind. Now this person wants to change their mind, and let me tell you, you're shocked to shit. When this person comes back to you, if and when this person comes back to you, it's like being totally surprised by this, feeling like this is a miracle because you, you never thought this person would come back after they moved on to someone else. Yeah. Show me not finished. For my Virgos. We have making an effort. Divine timing. So you're going to hear from this water sign. If you haven't heard from this water sign. You're going to hear from this person. It says trust in the perfection of divine timing. This person is waiting for the right time. So say. So say. It says making, making an effort. I'm willing to put in the work. I have our, to have our happily ever after. So you got somebody here in divine timing. They're coming back because they feel like you guys have unfinished business. They feel like you guys have unfinished business here. And this person's coming back in to make an effort. 
to truly, truly make an effort. Whoever this Cancer Scorpio Pisces is. Yeah. Show me holding on. Children. Children are important to me and it's affecting our connection. This person's still holding on to you. It hurts to let go, but sometimes it hurts more to hold on. Some of you guys, you are this person. One of you guys could have wanted children and the other could have not wanted children. You know, some of you guys, children could have interfered in your connection with this person. Yeah, show me control. Obsession. This person's obsessed with you. This person is absolutely obsessed with you. I'm obsessed with you in our memories. It's almost killing me. It's almost killing me. This person wants to feel in control then to lose themselves to then to lose themselves in love, but they've already given you their heart. They've already lost control of themselves in love. And that scares this person. Scares this person to the point of they could be a bit much. It scares them to the point that it could be a bit much. So we absolutely see this person's obsessed with you. We do. We see this person's obsessed with you. And I also saw the Ace of Pentacles. This person wants a new opportunity with you. This person wants a new beginning with you. Let's see. So tell me, Spirit, how does this Cancer Scorpio Pisces feel about my Virgos? Let's do Cancer first. How does this Cancer... How does this Cancer currently feel about my Virgos, Spirit? justice this person feels a balanced connection with you this person wants to marry you the lovers this person's in love with you some of you guys this person has a choice between you and somebody else this person could have a choice between you and somebody else yes but this person's in love with you some of you guys this person wants to marry you this person's absolutely in love with you absolutely obsessed with you yeah and how do you feel about this cancer how does my virgo feel about this cancer King of Swords, you're you're thinking things through. Like you're trying to make sure you, the Hierophant, you want commitment with this person too. You're committed to this person already, whether you're whether they know it, yes or no. You want commitment with this person too, but you're guarded. You are. You're very much so a little guarded, a little protected. Like you know, you're a little you're a little guarded. I can say that. You guys are a little guarded, but you want. You, you, there's a covenant here is what I'm getting in this energy. Some of you guys, you, you, this, this is like a covenant. Like you've already entered some type of covenant with this person. You have, you have a bond with this person already. Whoever this cancer is, you have a bond with this person. This person could have strong Taurus or Libra in their chart, but you already have a bond with this person. And you're already committed to this person in some type of way, shape or form, even though you're a little guarded. Yeah, and what's the potential outcome between my Virgos and this Cancer? What's the potential outcome between my Virgos and this Cancer? The Hangman, Pisces Energy. This talks about a shift in perspective here. Nine of Cups, but wish fulfillment. So I feel like you guys are going to be letting your guard down at some point in time. Because right now, present moment, you're the King of Swords. That's how you feel towards this person, a little guarded and very much so protective. But the hangman, there's something, there's a shift that's happening in your perspective of this situation. And you see, this is wish fulfillment. The potential outcome is wish fulfillment. Is wish fulfillment between you and this cancer. Yeah, let's see. Show me spirit. For my Virgos that's dealing with the Scorpio. How does this Scorpio feel about my Virgos? Ooh, the five of cups. This person is on the fence here. This person has a lot of regret. This Scorpio has a lot of regret here. They do. They feel a sense of loss. This person's lost without you. This Scorpio is lost without you. Yes, they are a 10 of wands. They may have walked away from you thinking the situation was too burdensome, but they have regrets. This Scorpio may have walked away from you and they regret this now, right now, present moment. Yeah, let's see. And how does my Virgo feel about this Scorpio? Five of Pentacles. So this person left you out in the cold. This person left you out in the cold. Why is there a possible change, a possible reconciliation that might happen between you and this person? Because that 5-5 five, five is, is telling me 
that there's a possibility of a change between you and this person, King of Wands, because you two are sexually attracted to each other. Because you two are sexually, sexually attracted to each other here. Yeah, what's the potential outcome? What's the potential outcome? Because I feel like you both, you both, one's extremely sorry and one wants to come out of the cold. I feel like you guys are matching each other's energy right now, present moment. So what's the potential outcome between my Virgo and this Scorpio? Oof, what was that? Three of Pentacles. Let's see if I can get the card, huh? It's actually two cards. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Hmm, there may be somebody else here. There may be somebody else. Seven of Wands talks about fighting and guarding. Huh, somebody may have something else. Somebody may have something else here. Hmm. Temperance talks about divine timing so this is the person that so this is the person that feels like in divine timing this will come back together because you guys have some unfinished business but there is somebody else here in between you and this person and this person does want to come in and make an effort here right now present moment this person's a little guarded their defenses is up right now, present moment. And why? It's because they have something to lose. This person has something else going on in their life right now, present moment. This Scorpio has something else going on right now, present moment in their life. And it's all about divine timing. This person feels like you and them will come back together. Yeah, let's see. Show me spirit. For my Virgos that's dealing with the Pisces, how does this Pisces feel about my Virgo? How does this Pisces? Whoa, wow. Ooh, the Empress. This Pisces loves you. They want a new beginning with you. They want a family with you. Six of Swords. This person feels a divine connection to you. Six of Swords. This person feels like things, things will get better. This person wants a new beginning with you. The Empress, Taurus, Libra, strong energy in your chart, if that's you. This Pisces wants a new beginning with you. This person feels like you're a divine being. Six of Swords, things will get better. Page of Swords, this person is stalking you. This person is stalking you. This person is watching you. Yeah. And how does my Virgo feel about this Pisces? Ten of Wands. So you, like, you guys are, like, borderline about to, like, you feel this person to be, a, it's a lot of emotional baggage here. You're about tired of this person in the wheel. Talks about positive changes. You feel like it's time for a change. You guys are ready to walk away because you feel like it's time for a change here. Yeah, and what's the potential outcome? Some of you guys could have be, have a child for this person or get pregnant for this person. Two of Cups. And the reverse. Potential outcome is a separation. The lovers. You love this person. You and this person, y'all love each other. Y'all have a strong bond. You and this Pisces, y'all have a strong bond. Some, some of you guys, y'all could have a choice between two people. Some of you guys, you could have a choice between two people here. You know, this person could have a choice between two people. But you and this person, y'all love each other. Y'all have a strong bond. You have the Empress, Two of Cups, and the Lovers. There is a choice. So you and this person may be separated momentarily. I'm getting a momentary separation for some of you guys. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting, like a momentary type of uh, separation between you and this Pisces. But you and this person, y'all bond is so strong, though. So strong. Yeah. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love and appreciate every last one of you guys. Until next time, bye guys.